Hello Sagittarius, this is your reading for the 14th through the 28th. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what we've got for Sagittarius today. Alright guys, please show me messages for Sagittarius for the 14th through the 28th. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Energy that's around you right now. Your challenge. Underlying issue. Let me move that up a little bit. Past situation. Best possible outcome. What's coming in for you guys? How are you viewing the situation or yourself? The influence there. Your hopes. Your fears. And the overall. Okay, energy that's around you right now is the Six of Wands. Ooh, I like it. Feeling confident. Okay, feeling victorious around something here, moving forward, um, being recognized for your good efforts and your good deeds um, going on here. Leo energy there was challenging you. It's a find a nice balance in your life, okay? Um, you know, maybe, you know, temperance is all about finding the balance between your emotions and your actions okay so i feel you guys are definitely um, doing things that's going to bring success into your life but there's a need for you to balance out you know your emotions in this situation as well and i'm thinking this is to basically recognize what you're feeling okay not just you know steamrolling ahead into things and not Take an inventory of how you're feeling about certain things, situations, okay? So let's see what was going on for you guys in the past here. This is your card. So you guys are showing up very strong here, okay? So we have the Three of Pentacles. Something you guys have started, and I feel like whatever this is that you guys have started, you guys are building, growing, growing something here um, and I feel like this is you guys you're growing but not only are you growing but there's something that you are devoting your time to that is going to um, bring you a lot of success is what I'm getting here okay some of you you know this is indeed a job for sure that's going to bring you guys a lot of success but be mindful of how you're feeling um, during this time when you're working, 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 um, that you don't neglect yourself. Do not forget or, or um, become blind to how you're actually feeling, okay? Because sometimes when we get going and we're so excited about things, um, we kind of miss how we're actually feeling, whether we're tired, um, whether we feel drained, you know, that sort of thing. So I definitely get that you guys have, have started something that's going to be very lucrative for you. Some of you have actually, um, I felt like, are starting to get along in relationships with people, your personal relationships, um, your intimate relationships. It's like uh, you're, you're doing well in that aspect as well, okay? Let's see how you guys are viewing this situation. Oh, wow. Why the Nine of Swords? Maybe there's just some things that you're trying to figure out, still trying to iron out here, okay? Maybe you feel like you're not doing as well as you are. But I see you doing well. So if you if you think that you're not doing as as well as you as you want to, then you guys are doing ex excellent. Let me let me tell you that. Okay, this is an overactive imagination here. So I'm getting the the feeling that you guys are going going going, and you're not really taking inventory of of what it is that you are actually achieving, and you're probably being too hard on yourself. Okay. That's what I'm getting here. Let's see what the issue is for you guys. The Four of Cups. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. I feel like there has been someone here that has possibly, um, you know, taking you, you, your love for granted. Uh, maybe they are. Hmm. Okay. So, so this is what I just got that you guys are working overtime 
to try to make things right with someone okay and it feels like nothing that you are doing is good enough this is how this person is making you feel they're taking it for granted and so you're feeling like you know what else can I do what else can I do that's where these thoughts are coming in at like what you're doing is not good enough but it is let me let me say that so if somebody is doing this right here and basically um, you know spitting in your face um, it's not you so let me let me just put that out there that just came through very clear clearly here okay the best possible outcome here is a five of Pentacles just continue to do what it is that you're doing <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> excuse me um, continue to do what it is that you're doing and do what you feel is right okay put your share in like you're doing here put your share in okay but if at some point in time this person does not meet you halfway and you're giving your all to this situation it's time to vacate it's time to leave this behind okay because otherwise if you keep putting something if you keep putting all your energy into a situation and you're not you know having your feelings reciprocated or your time and energy reciprocated you are going to feel depleted hurt rejected and I see you getting there here I see you getting there okay so continue to do what you're doing give this person some more time be there for this person through thick and thin but at a certain point you cannot feel drained in this situation because there has to be reciprocity in relationships or it's just not going to work okay so what's coming in for you guys is the king of swords I'm getting that there is maybe a Cancer or Gemini individual that um, some of you guys are dealing with that, that comes across very cold, very aloof, very non-feeling, okay? Um, they're very matter-of-fact about things. They don't come from an emotional standpoint. They, they, they think logic and reason um, is the end-all be-all. And that's the way to handle all situations. So that person is is basically looking at you guys and you know seeing all the effort that you're putting in. They see what you're doing, okay? And they are just being who they are. They see the effort that you're putting in. They know what you're doing. So don't think it's going unnoticed, okay? The influence here is the world. A lot of you guys are wanting to start over. You're wanting to start over. You guys have completed a karmic cycle where you have been taken advantage of or either you guys felt like you didn't do your best in a situation, but I get that you guys have learned a lesson now and you're ready to move forward. But you have to, you have to understand or realize or notice take notice if somebody else has learned their lesson okay and is wanting to move forward okay so there's a need for you to wrap something up here wrap something up here and move on okay so if you have spent enough time and energy you feel in this situation then for some of you, it's time to let go of something and move on because you've learned the lesson that you needed to learn. Okay, guys? Your hopes is to be happy. Bottom line. Your fear is I feel that there's not going to be a new start in this situation. Okay? I think you guys are definitely wanting to start over here. If you are currently not with someone and you're trying and trying and trying to get them back and you feel like, you know, nothing is working, this person's not giving in, they're still not being as responsive as you would like for them to be, then, you know, it may be time to cut your losses, okay? Because there's definitely love out there for you that you deserve, okay, guys? 
Let's see what the overall is here. The Four of Pentacles. Hmm. I feel like um, you guys will definitely, for this time period anyway, um, hang in there. I feel like you'll definitely hang in there with this individual. I think you're you're holding on to the situation. You want to see improvement. You want to work on this until you guys can get to a point where you actually are reciprocating the same things. Okay, um, Capricorn energy there. So we have Capricorn, Taurus, um, Cancer, Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, let's see. Any other fixed sign, I feel, Aquarius, uh, Scorpio energy is here. And um, that's about it, guys. So that's what I have for you. And um, take care.